to TM Mixing Adventures. My name is Lisa Keegan and this week we are focusing on the TM6 attachment of the splash guard. Uh, today we're going to make jam and I'm going to show you how we can change a recipe that once upon a time called for a big thing like a Varoma or a simmering basket to the splash guard. So come with me today as we make strawberry jam. So let's start cooking and the first thing it wants is some hulled strawberries cut into quarters. Now I've got the leftovers of a a frozen berry bag and I'm just gonna put that in and I know it's not gonna be the full amount and I'm all good with that We're actually just gonna make a half batch. All right, so well, let's go next Lemon I don't have lemon gonna skip it. So that would actually just offset the sugar a bit next is some sugar when I say the sugar sorry the sweetness of the Strawberries next up is white sugar. I need to remember that I'm actually only doing a half batch I'm using raw sugar. So I'm gonna go 100 grams don't skip on your sugar because it won't set Okay, It'll, you'll find it's really runny so sugar is a main part of jam. Whoa, okay, a little heavy. Anyway, next up, we have an apple cut into pieces and cored. And I've just got a red apple that the kids haven't, they've been eating around it for some reason. Now, this is where it tells me just place the Varoma on top. And you know what, when we use the Varoma, it means it takes up a lot of space in the dishwasher. Uh, so instead of that, it's flush gun. Now, what does that do? It lets the humidity out, the steam out, lets that reduce down, which is what's happening in jams, uh, while it cooks off. That's what it's doing. So, and then we'll click on next. We've got 25 minutes. Now, I have halved this. Little tip today. I love to give you more value. So, little tip. When you halve something, you actually only do three-quarter time. Okay? I'll say that again. When you halve it, so I've done half the volume of recipe, we do three-quarter time. So my maths is not that great. I'm gonna go for about 18 minutes, okay? So we just click on it and we scale it down and I hope that that's pretty close to three quarter time. Uh, but it'll be close enough. The thing is if you forgot and you did full time, it's probably just gonna be a wee bit thicker. It's not gonna ruin the whole batch, which is so good to know, right? The Thermomix is really, I find generous. When I'm too heavy with something, it still works out. When I'm too light or I don't have an ingredient, it still works out. How cool is that? So. In my case, because I'm doing a half batch, 18 minutes of aroma, and we're gonna spin it to speed one, and we're gonna let it do its thing. How cool is that? So off that goes. I will return at the very end, and I'll show you how this beautifully finishes up. So we'll see you then. Okay, welcome back. You can see it's met Varoma and we were aiming for Varoma and it's actually been cooking away for quite a long time at Varoma. Probably a good 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna guess. Uh, the splash guard did its job, none came out of the bench. I don't know if you've ever made the mistake and I've seen people on Facebook who have where they've actually forgotten to put anything on the top and you end up with like a splatter of red looking jam all over the place. So the splash dog did its the splash. The splash guard did its job, is what I'm trying to say. But you can see in there, look at that. It looks absolutely amazing. Now, because I've got those really massive strawberries, normally it says to just um, put a little bit of it in some cold water and see if it comes together. I never bother. I'm not too stressed about whether it's um, going to set right or not. We will eat it regardless. But it normally says to transfer to a jar. But you might have noticed I have those big, big chunks of salt, um, strawberries in there. So I'm going to then use this to just chop them down for a moment before we transfer them out. So all we do is spin it up now, make sure you're measuring cups in place to speed eight. And I'm gonna give it about five seconds on speed eight to get rid of those big chunks. You can see my table jiggling. That's probably enough. I'm not looking for a smooth, silky paste. I just don't want, you know, a whopping great big, a big pit of salt. Um, Strawberries, okay? Look at that, that's beautiful. That's much better. So now into the sterilized jar to let it cool. Remember as you're dealing with it, it's super duper hot. Your um, hole in your measuring cup lid is actually perfect for funneling this into your container or your jar. Mine's about the same size, which is always a little bit of a concern. But we just grab our spatula and in it goes. And you can see there how much half of that batch will make. So it's a beautiful amount in there, ready for your scones uh, and all sorts of things. So whatever you want to do with this, crumpets, all sorts of yummy goodies you can put this in, even on things like ice cream, just absolutely beautiful. And you know exactly what's in it, which is the cool part as well. So no, no additives, numbers, preservatives, all that stuff. You know exactly what it is. So I'm going to spray out the rest of that off camera so you don't have to watch me do that. Otherwise, thanks for joining me today. I hope you've um, learned some more skills and tips for your thermomixing so that you can use instead of the 
instead of your aroma or your simmering basket, this. The other recipes you'll find this handy in is things like risottos where it says put the simmering basket on top. We don't need to, not when we've got this. It can go on top and this fits nicely in the dishwasher as well. So all dishwasher safe, remember, with your Thermomix. But otherwise, guys, have a fantastic day. I hope you're inspired. Reach out if I can answer your questions and support you in any way. And I do hope you're sharing and liking these videos. And if you've got friends and family with Thermomixes or thinking on a Thermomix, please do send them to the YouTube channel because there they can get um, inspired and use their Thermomix more and more, which is what I'm here for. But otherwise, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye for now. Thank you.